Hello everyone, my name is John, welcome to today's video. So you have probably wondered how can you package your own app so that you can easily share it with someone and they can easily install it. And today we're going to do just that. We're going to explore the basics of Debian packaging. It might seem complex, but it's really not, trust me. Packaging is just essentially creating a structured zip file that contains our code or binaries or whatever you put in it. So at that dev package that we'll be creating today can be later installed on all Debian based systems like Debian itself, Ubuntu, Pop OS, Linux Mint, and so on and so on. So let's dive in. First, uh, let's start with just creating a very simple program we're going to build. And that's basically just going to serve as our test. So I'm just going to create a very basic hello world in C++ so that we can compile it and see that it's, you know, something that is working. So I'm just going to write C out and let's say my app so that we can, so that we know when it's running that it's actually our app that is running. And let's just put a new line here. Okay. So now let's compile it. We're just gonna put it in here. So let's go G++ main and I'm gonna output it into the build folder I just created as my app. Okay. Now in the build folder, we can see our binary. We can run it just like that. And that's usually probably what you also have, which is you build something and well, now is the question, how do I share it with someone, right? So you might try just sending it or whatever, but it's usually just not the best way, right? And that's exactly what packages are for. So yeah, let's package it. Now, the first thing we need to do is basically create a folder structure that the tool that is creating the that the packages is expecting to exist. That structure is very simple, at least for simple packages it is. Uh, we just create a folder with the name of our app. In our case, it's just going to be my app. And in that folder, we have to create two things. The first one is going to be very easy. We're just going to create a, sorry, a folder named Debian, all caps. Now in that folder, we're also going to create a file it's simply called control. Now in that file, we're going to put a little bit of metadata. And just so we know, there can be more, you can customize it. But this is the bare bones that we need right now. And uh, yeah, it's very simple. The package is just called my app. The version is 0 0.1. You can put your name here. The description is, you know, whatever you want it to be, right? Now, one issue here is that this package will be for ARM64 because I am simply on a ARM machine. So as you can see, my it's ARM64. I'm just gonna put ARM64. If you're on x86, just put x86, right? Generally speaking, uh, if I correct, you can build Debian packages so that it's one for multiple architectures, but it's usually better to have separate package for each separate architecture. So uh, now that we have this done, the other thing that is kind of weird at first is basically we have to recreate folder structure of our app that would be on the installed system as if the my app directory here were the root of the uh, target system. So if you imagine that my app here, this folder is the root, and let's say I want my app to be where most system apps for the user are. So let's say user slash bin. I have to create a folder called user and in that folder create a folder called bin. Now, uh, I'm doing that because that's just what I want. But in Linux, there's a lot of there are many ways to basically put your app where it should or should not be. There are things like user bins, user local bins, libraries, local libraries, etc., etc. So before you do that, you should probably research where your app should be. Uh, but because basically I don't care, uh, I'm just gonna put it here. So then the only thing we have to do is just place our binary here. And that's it. That's all of the 
operation that we have to do. As you can imagine, it can be greatly automated, but I'm just doing that by hand so you can see that it's simple. And uh, yeah, so now let's be build the actual package itself. So with our structure and files ready, it's time to build the package itself. We'll use the dpkg command. So you probably notice when you're installing a download.dev package, you have to go .dev and then the path to the actual Debian package. So it's again the same tool, we're just gonna go dash dash build and just bear in mind that you have to be doing that on a Debian system where this command is available. Dash dash build and then put it the name of the actual folder where, where all of our configuration is. So I'm just gonna do that. And as you can see, we have our myapp.dev package. So to install it, you install just like any other app, you go sudo dpkg dash i for install and path to the actual Debian package. And there we go, it's installed. So uh, just to prove that it's not the local one that I'm running, I'm just going to create a new terminal. I'm going to navigate to home. As you can see, there's no my app here, but I can run it. And it says my app. Using the which keyboard, uh, sorry, the which command, we can see where it's located. And as you can see, it got copy pasted to the equivalent of the directory tree we created here. So if we can navigate to user bin and just ls everything with grep for our app, you can see it's here. And that is actually what is being run where I run my app anywhere on the system. So if you would like to uninstall that, if I remember correctly, it's sudo dpkg, but actually before that, let's maybe prove that it is installed as a system package. So if you go dpkg dash dash list, yep, we can just grab my app. And as you can see, it's installed as a, as a system-wide uh, system package, right? We can also do this. And because we didn't specify it, it's actually not that, this is just for the package itself. If you would like to put a manual description in there, you can also do that. And if you would like to uninstall that, you just go dpkg dash r my app and it's removed. So if I do this, it doesn't exist anymore, but it still has it in the path. If I refresh my terminal, it's gone, it's just gone. So uh, yeah, and there you have it. You have successfully created and installed a Debian package for a very simple C++ application. Now the C++ binary here is just an example. You can put anything there, scripts or other build outputs from other languages, and you can actually put any files in there. So be it movies, images, etc. whatever you need your app to function, you can put in those packages. Now, uh, this is basic, very basic and it can be greatly expanded and automated. You can put it into your CI, CD pipelines and so on. Uh, but I just wanted to show that it's very easy and quick to set up for a basic project. And it's just nothing to be scared of. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Bye.